Longitudes and Latitudes, KCC 2010, Paper 2, Question Number 19. So it reads, the position of the three points A, B, and C are that 4 degrees north, 16 degrees west, that 4 degrees north, 24 degrees east, and 26 degrees south, 16 degrees west, respectively. Question part A, find the distance in nautical miles between Roman 1, port A and B to the nearest uh, nautical miles. Then part 2, ports A and C. And then part B of the question is uh, a ship left port A on Monday at 13.30 hours and sailed to B at 40 knots. Calculate uh, Roman 1, the local time at B when the ship left port A. And then Roman 2, the day and the time the ship arrived at port B. So those are the questions. So let's go to the solution. I'm going to start with the first part of the question, which is um, finding the distance in nautical miles between port A and B. So we need to identify the location or the position of A and B. And we're going to sketch the two places. So as you can see, um, A and B are located to the same latitude, that is 34 degrees north. And uh, they are on different uh, longitudes. That is, uh, one is 24 degrees east, the other one is 60, 16 degrees west. So that is the location. So you notice that A and B lie on the small circle or the circle of latitudes. Now, um, to get the distance along the circle of latitude, this is the formula we use uh, in nautical miles. So alpha multiplied by 60 multiplied by cosine of theta, where alpha is the longitude difference between the two points. And uh, theta is the latitude angle where they lie. So we start by getting the longitude difference, which um, as you can see, A is in longitude uh, 60 degrees west, B is uh, 24 degrees east. So since they are on opposite sides, one is to the east, the other one is to the west, to get the longitude difference, we just need to add. So you add 16 and 24, you get 40 degrees. That is the longitude difference. Then. Uh, the latitude angle where both of them lie is 34 degrees north. So the latitude angle, therefore, is 34 degrees. Now, from there, we go to now substituting the values in the formula. So to get that distance in nautical mile, you just need to take 40 multiplied by 60 by cosine of 34, which will give uh, 1,990 nautical miles. That is uh, correct to our nearest to nautical mile as required in the question. So now let's go to the other distance, which is distance between port A and C. Now, port A is uh, 34 degrees north, mm, 16 degrees west. Then port C is uh, 26 degrees south, 16 degrees west. So we locate uh, C. Now you can see the points A and C. You can see now the lie A and C lie on different uh, latitudes. So the first thing to identify is uh, that distance. Distance AC is distance along the meridian, which is distance along the great circle. So to get distance along the great circle, um, you just need to get the latitude difference because they lie on different latitudes. One is to the north, as you can see. One is 34 degrees north, uh, that is A. Then C is 26 degrees south. So you get the latitude difference. Uh, by adding, since um, they are on opposite side, that is north and south. So to get the latitude difference, you add. Then you convert the degrees to nautical mile by just saying 1 degree 60 is equal to 60 nautical mile. That is one way. Or the other way, which is the same way, more or less the same, um, the distance is given by 60 multiplied by the latitude difference. In this case, uh, 60, you take 60, multiply by the latitude difference, which is 60, 24 plus 34, and that gives uh, 3600 nautical miles. So that is uh, how you get the distance along the grid circle in nautical miles. So you just take the latitude difference, multiply by 60. Now, uh, the other question is um, question part B. A ship left port A on Monday. A ship left port A on Monday. Uh, 13 at 13 30 hours and sailed to port b at 40 knots calculate the local time at port b when the ship left port a 
So these were the ship left A at 13.30 hours. Then you sailed to port B at 40 knots. You can see that is the distance uh, along the small circle. So you're supposed to calculate the local time at port B when the ship left port A. Now, when you're calculating uh, time, we use the longitudes. When you cross on different longitudes, there's always a difference of time between two longitudes. And uh, A is 16 degrees west. That is the longitude. Uh, B is 24 degrees east. So to get the longitude difference, uh, since uh, one, both of them are on opposite sides, that is west and east, you add and you get 40. Now, there's a time difference, and that time difference is uh, given by this one degree. For every one degree, there's a difference of four minutes. So what about um, this longitude difference of 40 degrees? That will give 160 minutes, and therefore this translates to two hours and 40 minutes. Meaning uh, the time difference between A and B is two hours, 40 minutes. So you need to identify now which one is ahead of time and which one is behind. Um, looking at the location of the two places, uh, B will be ahead of time since it is to the east. Places to the east are always ahead of time. So compared to A, A is to the west, B will be ahead of time. And um, to work that one out, uh, you just need to take uh, the local time at A, which is 13, 30 hours. And since B will be ahead of time, you just add 2 hours, 40 minutes. So the local time at B will be 16, 10 hours, when the local time at A is 13, 30 hours. Now, time taken, um, the part, uh, the second part of the question, now we've answered the first part of the question, the local time at port B, when the ship left port A. Uh, now we're supposed to get the day and the time the ship arrived at port B. The day and the time the ship arrived at port B. So to get that, uh, we need to get the time taken to travel from A to B. And time is given by distance between A and B divided by the speed. We already got uh, the distance between A and B in nautical miles in the first part of the question, which is uh, 1990 nautical miles, then divided by the speed, which is uh, 40 knots. We are given these in the question. And when you work it out, uh, just take you back, here we given the 40 knots and then uh, the distance we got it. So when you get that time, we divide uh, distance in nautical miles by speeds in knots, you get the answer in hours and you get 49.7 hours. In converting 49.7 hours to hours and minutes, you get 49 hours, 45 minutes. So that is the total time taken from A to B. Now to get the arrival time, Remember the local time would be the 16, 10 hours. So we're supposed to add 49 hours and 45 minutes to get the arrival time. Now, 48 hours represents two days. Uh, so for from 49 hours and 45 minutes, you remain with one hour and uh, 45 minutes. Since uh, it's two days, and this was on Monday, so after two days, therefore, that one go to Wednesday, you just take um, 16, 10, you add one hour, uh, 45 minutes, and that will be Wednesday. Since uh, after 48 hours, 48 hours represent two days. So you only remain with, um, when you move from Monday, um, Monday 16, 10, for 48 hours, you go up to Wednesday uh, 16, 10. Then uh, you add this one hour, 45 minutes, and that will give uh, Wednesday at 17, 55 hours. Alternatively, you can do it like this, Monday, 16, 10 hours. Then after 24 hours, you get Tuesday, 16, 10 hours. Then from Tuesday to Wednesday, 16, 10 hours, those are 48 hours. So you remain with uh, one hour, 45 minutes. So you add and you get uh, 17, 55. That is how it's supposed to work on that question.